Hi everybody. I'm sorry I've been MIA lately. Um, Christmas season is extremely busy in the Dupre household. So, um, but I'm making jerky today and I've gotten, recently gotten a new um, shark robot um, to do the floors because the dogs bring in debris and I was finding that with my new hard floors, I was vacuuming um, every day. And that's just not gonna work. So my husband, my sweet man, bought me a shark vacuum um, that goes and empties itself and does all this really cool stuff. But um, my dogs aren't used to that. They're not used to um, not having the run of the house. And if they get in the way of the vacuum while it's running, then it just kind of flips out and says, well, okay, I won't do that room or something. I, I haven't quite figured that out yet. but. It does work really well so when it's working well so what I'm doing I'm going to show you how easy it is to teach your dogs how to stay in a place for a very long time um, or just to stay in place you know mine I just they stay but it's not for very long periods of time so I want them to stay until I release them and I've never really done that with them before they've never really had except short stays like you know, a couple minutes or, three, you know, something like that. But this is like for an hour or, um, you know, when I can't put them outside, like I can't put them outside right now, it's muddy. And so they're just gonna track all the dirt right back in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, sh well, I'm making jerky right now. I have a pan here, I'm laying out meat. So I already have my snacks um, that I can give them. So while I'm working in the kitchen, the robots in the other room, um, I'm just laying out my meat. And so every so often, I get a piece of um, meat that's got too much fat on it. Jerky's good with fat, but um, sometimes it has too much fat. So what I'll do is I will take this and separate it into my two dogs portions. And I'm gonna take you and turn you around or I'll just bring you this way. And then I come into the living room where they're at. Good dogs. And I tell them how good stay, good stay. Good job, Breezy. Good job, Rose. And I give them that and tell him to stay again. And then I go back to work. I'm selling my robots in here in the other room. We've got a very small house, so it doesn't have to go very far, but look at, it's doing its thing. And so while they're on that, those mats, those are what we put in place for the, um, for the no-go zone on the robot. So it, it goes here, it comes around here and it sees those and it has a no-go zone there and it has a no-go zone under there because it keeps turning the TV off and that kind of thing. So um, this way, if they're on the mat, then they're, they're not in the way of the robot and the robot doesn't malfunction. So I want them to learn, and that will happen later, that when they see the robot moving, they go right to their place and go lay down. So. We'll work on that as well, but right now I just want them to, to learn to stay in their place until I've released them, which I haven't done, so you stay. So, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great Christmas season. It's um, it's really, like I said, it's really super busy here. My phone is not gonna stand up. Super, super busy around this house. We got no puppies though, and so we're still looking for a stud for a rose. Um, it's gotta be the perfect stud. It's gotta have the perfect attitude. It's got to have the perfect health. It's got to be the perfect size. It's, I mean, um, so it's not a fast process. So we are still looking for Rose and she's misbehaving. So I'm going to go correct her right now. Rose, what are you doing? Get back to your place. Go, go, go. Come, go back. Good girl, come on. Back to your place. So there you can see what happens if I start talking to somebody and they think I've forgotten about them, then they're going to come off of their place and misbehave. So they're not perfect, but <laughs> by any means, and they're dirty too. They need, they need baths. But, um, so what I do there is I stop what I'm doing and you'll have to do that around the house. Somebody might be talking to you. You have to say one minute, please, and deal with the dogs immediately, because if you don't, then they are going to take advantage of that. They're smart animals. 
and they will they know when you're being distracted so anyways hope you're having a wonderful christmas season um full of lots of blessings and um if you have any questions just put them down in the comments and i'll try and get back to you as soon as possible god bless you guys bye